Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio here on a Sunday morning doing something that's dangerous. Yes, there could be injuries, crying, band-aids, and gnashing of teeth involved here. <laughs> this has to do with my anal retentive need for complete and total organization in my art room, studio, whatever you call it, my happy place. All right, so I've already explained this once in another video that I'm not buying any new art supplies other than to replenish what I've already got that I use on a regular basis. Okay, so this is, <laughs> this is just craziness. I put all of my little stamps, you know, I stamped them, put them in a white piece of paper, you know, stuff that's this size that will fit in the baseball card divider and put those in a notebook. And the larger ones I put in the plastic protector sheets. But I have a problem. The only size I can find to put my stamp stuff in is these, and it's five and an eighth by five inches. That's way too big for said mushroom stamp. Or a tiny bee, or a headless flower. So I separated all these out of my other stuff and decided that I was going to get out something I haven't used in a long time and it is my fuse tool. Now I've had this for many years and used it when I did pocket letters and I decided that I needed to get it out and to resurrect it. So here are the blades or the little, uh, uh, what do you call them? I don't know, metal pieces that heat up in the end of it. Here's the beveled one I'm using to cut right now with, but there's a um, flat one to make a nice line with. There's this little sharp one. Then there's this one that's sharp and then tilted up on the end. All right, my camera's not doing what it's supposed to do anyway. And then there's this rotary one that's roller. All right, so there's five blades, instruments. So. I don't have any hot protected pad like thing in my studio. I've looked everywhere for it. I think I got rid of it. The one that's rolled out and really thin and heat resistant sort of thing. I don't have it anymore. So what I have done is I've taken the pocket protectors for the baseball cards and I cut it with this hot, 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 hot tool. So what I'm doing is I'm going along the line that's perforated to make the pockets with this bevel tool on a piece of paper, which I am not sure will catch on fire. <laughs> and I just, did it off. All right, so I'm gonna cut all of these little pockets off and see how many of my stamps I can get in here. And I know this sounds crazy, but I hate this plastic packaging because I store my stamps in the original packaging, the little bitty ones, and I'm tired of it because now I've opened and closed it so many times, the little strip here doesn't stick anymore. So I've had it. All right. I'm exchanging one piece of, piece of plastic for the other. Please, I don't want to hear anything about I'm not a good crafter because I'm not doing a zero carbon footprint sort of thing. Forget it. All right, so then I'm going to take it and go down the perforated stuff here because I'm not going to put it in the notebook, so I don't need the three ring binder part. And yes, I could do this with scissors. But what I cannot do with scissors is to seal each compartment back together after I've cut it off, and I don't want to use glue. There we go. So this is not really sturdy. So once I cut all these out, then I will take this tool, the little, ro uh, little wheel thing here, and then I'll run it down three of the four sides to, to seal that up and then I will put my stamp in there. I feel like I'm pedaling backwards <laughs> doing 
doing this project, but I just, I can't stand those plastic containers when they don't seal up anymore. And I don't want my stuff flopping around in a basket. I have my stuff all in pockets and I have labels on every one of them and I have a storage system that I will show you in a few minutes. But let me do this first. I'll be back. Okay, so I got them all cut apart. There they are, nine of them minus the um, whole pokey part on the side. And yes, I could have cut these with scissors. Please do not think that I did not know this. <laughs> but the point is, is that when you use the plastic fuse, sometimes it fuses back the plastic on the sides as it's melting stuff off. But scissors don't do that. So the next thing is a pair of pliers. And taking the end off, and this bad boy is scorching, blister, bloody hot. So painting things aren't just for painting. And if I turn it off, I have to wait for it to cool and do it again. And I'm like, yeah, I don't have time for that. Since this isn't hot, I can screw that back in, but I have to be careful not to touch the rest of it. There we go. And then this one, you can tell it's still hot because it's a different color from the rest. Alrighty, so let me get my paper out here. And wait for this to heat up, which takes like two seconds. And now I'm going to make sure that the sides of the pockets are sealed up by using this. To seal up the edges. Sometimes this thing rolls. I think it has to do with whether you press down too hard or not. And I'm going to do a double seam because I'm not very good at this and I do not trust my skill. I hate to sew. Just saying. <laughs> the rotary stuff. <laughs> just is beyond my comprehension and my s tool set. So I just do a double line because if one breaks the other might hold and I'm also going to do the bottom and there's already one on the bottom that's still intact but because I'm not a trusting person I'm going to go and make another one. All right, let's see how well this holds. Tra-da. All right, so. Goodbye, cello. And I don't need a top on it. Ta-da. And then I save my cello bags. If a friend needs something, then I send it to him in one of these cello bags and I do tape it shut. But as a, a you know, I, I just don't want to spend all my time taping and untaping and taping and untaping. It's just craziness. This is not the cutest storage system ever, but it is effective and it is free. And I didn't buy anything new other than to replenish my nine pocket holder that I used up putting stuff in. So what I will do, after I do all this is I will take this and stamp it. Where is the pocket holder? And then all my little pictures of where the stamp is located and the name of the stamp will go into my storage system which is on the side. Alright so here's my storage system. We're very fancy here. Walmart. <laughs> and Whoops, let's make sure that plastic burning thing is out of the way. All right, so this is just a regular sheet protector, and there's some cheap cardstock that I really don't like I'm using in here. And I know that this category is borders, and I'm going to do something on here eventually, but right now that's not my priority. So here are my stamps. This, The stuff that was too big to put into a pocket, or and I ran out of pockets, the um, other kind of pockets, I ran out of those. So I resorted to using one sheet, 
and then doing these on here. And then I labeled the name of the stamp and where the stamp is located in my art room. I have four places I store stamps. So I wanted to be sure that I knew where my stuff is. And this is what my mushroom and all my little stamps will look like in here. And I could have stored the stamp in here with this, but I don't want 10,000 notebooks. Um, I <clears throat> I'm trying to limit my space, not make it bigger. And this was a notebook I already had. I just had to swap stuff from a skinny notebook into the fat one, and everything was perfect. I didn't spend a dime trying to do this. And I kind of like the way it looks, because I can look at them, and the ones that I think need to go after a year of not using them will go bye-bye, and I will re-stamp my stamps. So this is my um, storage system, and everybody does it like, I don't know, brands or designer names or whatever. I really could care less. I'm looking for subject. I like the subject. When I need a flower, I want to turn to the category that says flowers on it, and there they are. There are my flowers. So I, I think this is a system that will work for me. It is not necessarily a system that will work for everyone else. But I thought that this was a really good way for me to store my stuff according to the way my brain thinks. All right, so I have all kinds of subjects in here. But the one that I have one thing in sports. I did a card for a friend's um, grandchild. And that's the only sports-related stamps I have. <laughs> Needs a whole section. Travel, vintage. I love vintage typewriters, the way they look when they stamp. And vintage maps and keys. And I love vintagey stuff. There's my cogs and keys. Words, letters, numbers. Oh, where's my miss? Oh, it's back this way. <laughs> Uh, it's in alphabetical order. Trees. Miscellaneous. This <laughs> is the miscellaneous category. I don't know where to put bubbles. I don't know where to put a salt shaker. Well, it looks like a salt shaker. It says mason jar. And uh, I, I don't know where to put glasses. Why do I have glasses? I don't know. But, uh, you know, where do I put this stuff? This stuff could have gone in flowers, but these are those wooden, the block, wooden block stamp. I don't know. So I just, I have different categories and I just thought I would share my craziness with you this week. Because, you know, I don't have anything else to do with my time because I just really don't have anything else to do with my time. <laughs> Come on, guys, you got to laugh because if you don't, you'll be depressed. And art is not about being depressed. It's about being content and happy in your special place. And in my mind... I am in my special place. <laughs> Alrighty then. Alright, I'll be back and I'll show you the how I organize the rest of the stuff.
kind of tall, but it works. Oh, I can cut it off. There we go. Ta da! <laughs> All right, so this one's going to require a little more width. So let me go down the sides of this one. Where's my paper? If you are not in a well-ventilated area, you need to ventilate when you do this because it does start to smell a little funky when you're doing heat on plastic. I guess I shouldn't have to say that, but yes, it is true. And, oh, well, not too bad. Oh, you can't see the lines, can you? See the line? No. Well, anyway, take my word for it. Semi-straight. <laughs> I'm going to do the bottom. Just because it looks cool. And sometimes if you push the roller too fast, it makes a straight line. It won't do the perforated look if you get carried away. And yes, it, it melted. It's kind of melted on the other side. All right, so let's check this out, what we're going to do here. I'm going to go down the side of this one. See, I'm rolling too hard, too fast, so I need to slow down a bit. I want the roller to roll. All right, there's that one. Okay, so where's stamp? I want to put them in with a little space to spare. So they make this cool tool here that has that opening in there. So what I'm going to do is take the opening. Let's see if I can get it straight on here. Arr. And I'm going to roll this inside the opening. And then I'm going to scoot it over. Let's see, where did I do the other one? And what I'll do is then on this one, I'll, I don't need the opening for that. I just need to see where the original line was. This part might get thrown away. Let me make sure that's... I, think I might put a third line in there because I can't see what I'm doing because of the glare. All right, so we'll put this aside and see if we got this to... Whoa, whoa, whoa. And it, the cool thing, it comes with a little stand and you sit like this. Or you can do it the other way around, whatever floats your boat. Then I'm going to take the scissors. I'm going to cut on this side because I think I'm going to toss this little strip right here. And then put my fluffy girl in here. Where's the opening? There it is. Then I'm going to take this and I'm going to off because I have not need of that. And there are my, there is my storage system for my little tiny stamps that I cannot find a good storage system for. There's all, I don't know, 11 of them all done. So what I will go back to that I'm not going to do on camera now is I'm going to go take scissors. I have a roll of acetate and I'm going to roll the acetate out and I'm going to, to um, Attach, you know, put this in there to protect it. And the ones that have no picture, well, they all have, well, this one doesn't have a picture. I might stamp a picture, the white card that I've cut for these. I might uh, stamp that so I see that in the front. These all have words on them so I know what they are. The Let It Snow, I can see him fine. This one I'm going to stamp because it's so black, it's hard to see the pattern. And these guys came with pictures. But they'll all probably have a little piece of acetate in them. So, I think that's it for me. I'm just so excited I got something accomplished today. Might be the only thing other than getting dressed I got done today. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye.